it's difficult to overstate the importance and value of our planet's forests. They supply energy, products, and materials that make our daily lives possible and have for as long as humans have walked this earth. We're now more aware than ever of forests' critical role as a massive store of carbon, helping regulate the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere and continuously cleansing the air. Forests cover almost a third of the Earth's land area, but they're under threat. They're being converted and degraded by human encroachment, such as agriculture, settlements, mining, and infrastructure, and through natural processes, such as fires, pests, diseases, and droughts. However, the net loss in forested area is being significantly reduced by natural expansion of existing forests and by planting of new forests. Effective reforestation programs are crucial from an environmental standpoint, but they are also essential from a social and economic perspective. Vietnam is one example of a country that's taking important, positive steps to manage and expand its forest resources. Previous loss of forested areas has been reversed, and the country is now increasing forest area by about 1% every year. Worldwide, only 7% of forests are planted, but managed in a sustainable and progressive manner, they may now be providing as much as 70% of the world's industrial wood and fiber. In Vietnam, a far greater percentage of the country's forest area is planted. About 22% of forests in Vietnam are planted forests, while 78% are natural forests. Vietnam has decided to pursue a green economy and the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization is supporting these efforts through several projects aimed at promoting sustainable forest livelihoods. A key program for the success of this strategy is the Finnish government-funded National Forest Assessment, NFA, which is aimed at improving Vietnam's ability to assess and manage its forest resources by providing a host of new and reliable data on the area, quantity, and quality of the country's forest resources, but also on the communities that use them. What we try to develop is a multi-source approach that means combined use of satellite image interpretation and collection of the ground sample points. Continuing and expanding these benefits depends on Vietnam's ability to measure and assess accurately a variety of aspects of its forest resources. Trong cái xu hiện đại chúng ta hiện tại chúng ta cần những cái thông tin chính xác hơn về tài nguyên rừng bao gồm cả tài nguyên về đa dạng sinh học, bao gồm các giá trị về môi trường cũng như khả năng hấp thu carbon. Đồng thời chúng ta gần những cái thông tin cần thiết liên quan đến kinh tế xã hội, các yếu tố về quản trị rừng để nhằm cung cấp một cách thông tin đầy đủ, chính xác hơn cho cho nhà hoạch định chính sách và đưa ra những chính sách kịp thời trong hướng tới quản lý rừng bền vững. In addition to the biophysical data, the teams are also obtaining valuable information on non-wood forest products like herbs and medicinal plants that are often exported abroad to help supplement the local economy. One of the new aspects they're looking at is the forest ecosystem's ability to absorb and store carbon. The world's forests store about 289 gigatons of carbon in their biomass alone and hold significant potential to mitigate climate change. Effective use of wood helps store more carbon and keep it out of the atmosphere. About 40% of Vietnam is covered with forest, and almost half of that is managed for producing timber and other forest products. Vietnam's National Forest Development Strategy aims to increase the area to 47% by 2020. With support from the FAO, the government's plans to sustainably develop, manage and protect these expanding forest resources will benefit people's livelihoods and the environment. Vietnam so far is very strong in outdoor furniture, uh, but at the moment, they step by step, uh, they change to become also important player in indoor furniture, which is uh, from the product uh, type quite uh, more demanding regarding design and quality but uh, Vietnam shows that they are on the best way, that they are able also to play an important role in this market segment in the future. 
95% of Vietnam's 3,000 wood processing enterprises are privately owned and are small or medium-sized businesses. Half have some form of foreign investment. This sector provides more than 300,000 jobs and it's growing along with the rest of the country's economy. Between 2007 and 2009, the number of wood processing enterprises doubled. Wood is a natural product produced by free solar energy while fixing atmospheric carbon. Trees can be harvested and replanted and forests renewed. Wood products are reusable and biodegradable and they continue to store carbon throughout their lifetime. Wood is an excellent substitute for materials used to produce many consumer goods that leave a much larger carbon footprint, including concrete, steel, aluminum and plastic. One of the challenges for us in the forestry sector in moving towards a green economy is to convince people that consuming more wood products, especially legally and sustainably produced wood products, is far better for the climate than excessive consumption of non-renewable products that rely heavily on minerals and fossil fuels that are in limited supply. At the heart of the sustainable wood products industry is the idea of using good wood. Good wood is timber or other forest products that meet widely accepted standards for social, economic and environmental practices. Renewable resources mean a more sustainable economy and more job opportunities for the local workforce. The scope of forest products extends to wood chip production and pulp and paper as well. Vietnam has now become the largest exporter of wood chips in the world. This is a significant achievement considering the relatively small size of the country. Chip exports is considered a transitory business before modern pulp and paper industry develops in the country to convert the chips into pulp and paper. The pulp and paper industry is gradually developing in Vietnam to capture a larger share of the added value from raw materials. Their mills put products into the hands of every consumer in the country. The industry is moving toward more sustainable practices that pollute less and recycle more. More mills are generating their own power using discarded materials from the production process as fuel. To ensure that the international standards for sustainable forest management and chain of custody are being followed, a forest certification program has been implemented, which stretches from planted forests to finished products. Wood floor planks are a good example of a product that comes mostly from certified forests. The flooring industry creates jobs all along the supply chain. From growing timber and transportation of raw materials to manufacturing, shipping and sales, và chúng tôi giúp về quy trình kỹ thuật kỹ thuật để cho người dân nắm được những cái đó làm để cho năng suất rừng cao lên và chúng tôi thậm chí khi nào người dân đạt cái tiêu chuẩn FC thì chúng tôi sẽ thu mua lại cái gỗ của họ theo cái tiêu chuẩn FC. These examples clearly illustrate that sustainably managed production forests can generate a wealth of different products and services. Số làm việc ở đây thì thu nhập cũng khá ổn định ạ. Có thể giúp đỡ được gia đình với lại sinh hoạt hàng ngày của gia đình cháu. Với lại thuận tiện ở đây là đây là rừng núi nên là cũng gia đình cũng trồng rừng trồng loại cây gỗ keo thông các thứ này thì bán cho nhà máy luôn ạ, thuận tiện đỡ phải công vận chuyển ạ. Overall, Vietnam's exports of wood products has been on a steep upward trend for more than a decade. They're sent to more than 120 countries. On average, annual timber export revenue increased about 40% from 2000 to 2010. Ever more nations around the world are realizing the positive contribution that a vibrant and sustainable forest industry can make to the development of a green economy. The advantages are clear. More and better jobs lower environmental impact, a carbon neutral industry, and a renewable, sustainable approach to economic development. Forests, forestry and forest products won't solve all the problems of the green economy, but they're capable of opening up exciting new pathways toward low carbon production and consumption. That offers a green ray of hope for all of us for a better and more sustainable future. 
United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization is working to develop and disseminate a series of tools and methodologies elaborated by its experts, which are aimed at helping member nations to choose and profit from sustainable forestry. Because forests truly are at the heart of a green economy.